I know the last video I did was a bit concerning. I mean, this one's probably going to be a little bit more concerning, more or less, more or less. But um, after how I ended the last video, I just want to say I'm okay for now. But you know, I just want to get this out there. Um, I just needed to. Okay. Um. A few years ago, I tried to kill myself. I mean, I said this the last time, the last video, but I just want to like explain myself because I've been holding on to this for several years. Um. So it was. Uh, about a year after, after I um left school, like college, I didn't graduate. I had a couple courses left, but it was that period in my life where I didn't have a job yet, and um, but I tried to have get a job, but no one was hiring, or at least I couldn't. Like I tried really hard to find a job anywhere. But, I, like, every time it's like, okay, bring in your resume. You have to have experience to get this job. And I'm like, how can I build a resume if I can't have any experience from a job that won't allow me to, like, work? Or what I'm trying to say is, I am try I can't get experience if no one would hire me for, to get that position. So, for several months at a time, I tried to find work of any kind and at the same time I want to do movie review still um but like I was hopeful at first but um nothing like there was nothing available like I tried for several months and as the days went on like I I didn't think eh, I didn't think I could do anything and the longer it took the more harder it became like I originally wanted to do YouTube as a career of some kind or at least have enough people to watch my my stuff and um it didn't really happen obviously like you have to have years and years but I was doing this I have this channel since 2011 like I did my first video on this like in this room right here and just you know 20 30 pounds heavier um so I didn't know where I was gonna go so I struggled I couldn't be happy everyone else in my life is doing something except me I ate it like I a lot of on days I tried couldn't look for work I stayed home and just you know buried my you know just ate a lot got heavier and all that um and so like I was doing my cool world review and um my dad um called me and my sisters to his room and he told us that um, our mom was disappointed in the fact that we don't do anything um, around the house in terms of cleaning and all that, which, like, at that point, I was, like, kind of at an all-time, like, a permanent low in my life, disappointing my parents, especially my mom. Um, and, uh... Like, I was, like, really depressed. I I just didn't want to deal with it anymore. Um, and so I came back, like, I, um, when everybody else went to bed, I, 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 I don't, 
I just went. Shoot. Oh god, this was so much easier thinking about this yesterday. Um, I just went down to my kitchen and went into a, a medicine cabinet and I found pills. I didn't know what they were for, but I just thought if I'm a disappointment to my family, like my mom, my dad, and my sisters who are younger than me, I should probably just kill myself. I mean, granted, I had like some experiences years prior, like with depression, yeah, with depression, but um, not like I didn't really go through with it. I just worked at it over and over again, and like you know, I thought you know I could just barrel through it with work and then I eventually did but this time I didn't have work so I just thought well I dis I'm disappointed to my family um, what I really want to do in life isn't going anywhere uh, I don't have work and so I'm like okay I don't want to use a knife I don't want I don't want to drown myself in the tub or put um, you know, drown it like drown myself in the tub, or put a toast like go out really bloody, like put an electric toaster in the bathtub and just go that way. But um, I just got pills and I didn't know what would do would do, and I just I just took them up to my room here and sat right here and just like lay down like this, just sat. But since there's a drawer here, I couldn't really go, so I had to like squeeze my legs in like this and um, I just swallowed one pill after another I think there was like 13 14 pills I don't know I just wanted I didn't want to be I didn't want to I just I just didn't want to feel this way anymore you know and like I said in the last video I thought to myself, as I like looked over everything, like if there is a God, He'd let me die. Like I just, cause I'm just, I thought I'm just such a disappointment to everyone I know, and I, I, I just. <laughs> I just wanted to um, not feel this way anymore and you know I know I'm being redundant or repetitive or such but I can't really um, and so like the minutes passed and I just closed my eyes and I just passed out and then when I woke up at around 8, I just was, I was like, there is no God. God doesn't exist. He left me alive, and there is no God. I swear there's no God if you've left me alive. And then I went to the washroom to, like, you know, pee, and my pee burned. And I was like, God damn it. And I'm like, oh, fuck, I just contradicted myself, like, five minutes ago. And, like, and for the rest of the next four days, I was afraid to go to the washroom because I'm afraid it would burn. It it burned less and less as time went on, so I just didn't drink a lot of water. And so, you know, a few, like an hour or two later, my mom and I talked it over, and she, she talked to me about how, what she was feeling and uh, <laughs> I felt I don't know she I love my family really much and you know she told me what was going on and she was she was mad at us, but there were other things, like not 
health wise, but professional and she was mad she was just mad at us for not cleaning the house. I thought there was more to it than that, but I thought it was the worst because I was feeling horrible and I tried to kill myself the night before. You know? And I'm pretty sure there were So this again this happened in twenty eleven. Yeah, around the time the Cool World, I was doing the Cool World review, and, um, yeah, uh, so I kept going, um, I went to, well, I went back to school to, um, finish my college courses about a few months later, and I finally got my, uh, what's it called, my diploma, so that's fine, and then a couple of months later, I found a job. And even though I just didn't want to do it anymore, I was glad to start doing the movie reviews because they caused me more and more depression as time went on. And I didn't want to do that, so that's why I just stopped doing videos for about a year, you know? Because those movie reviews still, even when I brought it back for like three episodes, I didn't want to do them because they got me more and more depressed because I was ripping off a certain someone and um, I didn't want to go back to that place and so that's why I did the music video show because it was much easier to write and edit like how it was easy especially during season 7 when I didn't give a shit because I ended up editing five episodes the last five episodes of season 7 I edited though to be fair I was completely apathetic at that point and I didn't care um, some days are better than others but sometimes I can't shake the feeling that no matter how hard I try I'm not as good as everyone else or anyone like that's the thing like Whenever I'm at work, I don't think I'm as good as anyone there. Like, they, they say I do a good job, but I, I never believe it, because everyone else is so good at what they do, but I don't, I don't think I am good. I actually don't think I'm good at much of anything. Not even making videos. There are some days where I don't think... There are some days where I don't think I'm actually good or some days I just don't like myself others I sw others I flat out hate myself but there are some days where I think to myself oh my god this is amazing I generally dislike myself a lot I mean yeah sure I have I hate my voice there are days where I was like, okay, I'm looking at people like my family don't. No one's perfect, but everybody seems like they have their shit together. And then I look at myself and I see, no, I don't. I don't. I don't think I actually have my shit together at all. Hence why I just did this something different episode. Um, I just wanted to, I just wanted to, like, speak off the cuff and just, you know, you just want to get this story out there, like, I wanted to, like, do this video since last year, but I was so busy with the music video show, but after, like, the complete another, after I was working non-stop on the show and working at my job. I just need to get something out there because again, like I said, season 5 was made out of suicidal thoughts, which actually does explain that disturbed in it explains why that disturbed inside the fire episode was made like written in 2 days. Like uh, that episode was written that episode was written in 2 days. But I didn't think of it at the time, how come it was written so fast. 
and like looking back, I could see why because again, seasons five through seven were made specifically. Season five was made out of anger, bitterness towards everybody who was like doing stuff on their channels that were like, like, oh, what was it called? Like short, like doing it shorter than I was, and they actually have an audience. And meanwhile, I. I I just am jealous of like what they're doing because sometimes I don't think what I'm doing is enough. Like I don't have money for a new camera but I'm trying to do the best I can. Like I just wanted to get things out there for people who watch my stuff. It just to get people to laugh and smile and just for like two, five, or seven minutes. I just work. I just want to get shit out there, you know? And sometimes it's hard for me to write. Like, again, season five was made out of anger, bitterness, depression, and suicidal thoughts. And... Then when I did season six, I was at a flat line. I just didn't really care. I just went through the motions of it. And then season seven, it was just, I don't, I didn't care. I just didn't care anymore. I just did the whole thing in five to six weeks, which I didn't even do with season six. At least I took my time. But season seven, looking back, it felt so rushed. And, um, seeing how, like, nobody watched it, because I was so depressed since I, 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 I just wanted to actually be known a little. I know first world problems, but, you know, I was just angry at how much work I was putting into it, and... My fruits of my, like my fruits of my labor aren't a, aren't actually watched, which is I'm just guessing like my show's really 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 bad, no matter how much effort I put into it, and um I didn't I don't know I don't know like I'm working on stuff right now I just don't know if I should. I should do this any longer because what's the point of making a show that you put your heart and soul into that's completely original that you did like doing up until this year where you developed suicidal thoughts and ended up like writing, shooting, and editing 30 episodes and then nobody watches. And then you just do it again with 25 episodes and no one watches it. And then you do it for 25 more and no one watches. I don't know what the point is. I don't know what the point is doing it if nobody wants to watch something I like to do. Only to like do something I do reviews or videos I did in the past where I rip off people. I mean, some days I can't handle what's in here. I can't handle what's in here. Like, I think, and I think, and I just think, everyone, knows, everyone is better at me at what they do. I mean, everyone has insecurities, but sometimes it just makes their positivities more glowing, you know, and it just makes me, like I look at my friends and family, don't know if I'm repeating myself, but I look at my friends and family and people who I follow on Twitter and people on Facebook and I think to myself, I don't know how I can make myself better no matter what, like, 
there are people I don't know how to explain myself anymore it's just I mean sometimes you just need to talk to people and you know find out who you are but sometimes it just it just hurts so much no matter what you do and um I'm trying to get better and I'm glad that I'm not I'm still here I'm, I'm glad that I'm still here and trying to trying to grow as a person and um, having these thoughts in my head and trying I had a lot more to say here, but, you know, if you're one of the one, if you're one of one person watching this, or one of zero, um, I just wanted to get this out there, so, um, thanks, and hopefully I'll get something soon.